Complimentary Shaders is one of the most popular shaders packs of all time. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download it and install it in Minecraft with the goal of making this work not only in the current version of Minecraft, but also versions of Minecraft into the future by linking out to some articles, right? So these articles is what all of our links and everything are going to go to in the description. And the reason for that is so we can change them. For example, right now, Java 17 is what you need. In the future, you need Java 20 or Java 22. This article will update even though this video lives in time forever. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get complimentary shaders. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official complimentary shaders download page. Come to the right hand side and scroll down to the version of Minecraft you want to download. For us, we're going to be downloading the 1.19 version, but if you're downloading it in 120 or a 1.17, it doesn't matter. It's going to be exactly the same. Just go ahead and click on that download button there. Well, that's downloading. Have another smart sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love to stay back so much with all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, Complimentary Shaders has now downloaded. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to do that though because over 6.2 million people have downloaded it. Nevertheless, we also need to download Optifine. Optifine is linked in the description down below. And you click that link in the description down below, it will take you here. Scroll down and click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. But let's go back to this article that we were on here. The reason we're linking out via this, by the way, is so that you can actually get help if you need it. Troubleshooting issues, fixing different things, it's all covered in depth in this article, and this article is updated every single month. So go through this and check it out, get everything updated, and then once you've done that, you'll be able to download Optifine, even if it's not currently for the version we're covering in this video. Nevertheless, once you've clicked that download Optifine, button it will take you to the optifine download page find the version of optifine you want whether it's 119 or all the way back down to 1.13 doesn't really matter but under the 119.2 version find optifine and click mirror that's going to go ahead and take us off to the official download page for the version of minecraft you want and again if you don't want the 119.2 version if it's newer that's perfectly fine click mirror then click download and optifine will download the bottom left of google chrome you may need to save it in the server screen on mozilla firefox it just depends on your browser now we can minimize our browser and we want to move Optifine and complementary shaders to our desktop. To do that, let's go ahead and click the little Windows icon. It's on the top up to my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Tap in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up and in here we'll find Optifine and complementary shaders. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, you actually want to start off with Optifine. To do that, go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java or my icons here are weird. Or in either case, you need to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. That's what this in-depth article is over. It covers everything, any issues you may have and all of that. And you can check it out in the description down below. Like I said though, let's say in the future it's Java 20. Well, guess what? This article will update for that. So whatever this article has is the one you need for the most recent version of Minecraft. You may also need to run the jar fix. It's gonna take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Now let's we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we can install Optifine by right clicking on it, clicking on open with, clicking on Java and clicking okay. That'll open up the Optifine installer here. All you need to do at this point is click install, and the only reason that this won't work is if one, Minecraft is open, if two, the Minecraft launcher is open, or if three, you've never played the version of Minecraft you're installing Optifine for. If any of those are the case, get them solved, come back, and Optifine will be able to be installed right like so. The hard part, by the way, is it's kind of done. Installing Optifine is the hardest part. Now it's time to install shaders. To do that, go ahead and open up Minecraft, but we want to make sure we're opening Minecraft with our Optifine installation. Now, we already have an Optifine installation. It's probably going to be selected by default, but if it's not, I'll show you how to select it. And if you don't have one, I'll show you how to make one. So nevertheless, here we are in Minecraft. We have Optifine, right there it is. Click that little arrow there, select Optifine, click play, click play again. But if you don't have Optifine here, what you can do is come up to the installations. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we uncheck modded, it disappears. We check modded, there is Optifine. We can go ahead and open it. But if you still don't have Optifine or the version of Optifine you want, go ahead and click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. We're going to name it Complementary Shaders, but you don't have to. You can name it literally anything. Then under the version dropdown, this is the most important part. Make sure you select the version of Optifine you want. In our case, that's 119.2 Optifine. For you, it may be a future version. It may be an older version, but it will work either way. Let's go ahead and click on the resolution there as well. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing this so we can see what to get in game. Click Create, and now we have this new Complementary Shaders profile that most importantly has Optifine under it. Click Play, click Play again, and now Minecraft will open with Optifine. Let's get Complementary Shaders. I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. From here we can click on options, video settings, shaders. Let's do that one more time. From the main menu click options, 
video settings and shaders. Then to install complimentary shaders, all we need to do is click shaders folder in the bottom left. When we click that button, our shader packs folder will open and all we need to do is drag and drop complimentary shader from our desktop into our shader packs folder. Then in the background, automatically complimentary shaders appears. We can click on it and it will go ahead and activate and select itself. There we go. Boom. We can click done, click done again and click done again and jump into Minecraft single player to show you that this is working. Now, before you click off, I'm going to show you shader options as well. That's a great way for you to easily customize your shaders and give it your own sort of tweak and change the things maybe you don't like about the pack or want to improve about the pack all in game. But here we are, complimentary shaders is installed. Look at that, flowing in the wind. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up options, video settings, shaders again. And by the way, you can switch shaders packs here, but you can also change your shader pack settings. On the right hand side, there are some, but there's also shader options in the bottom right. And this is where things can get really complex. You can go in here and change every single part of this shader. I mean, it is super in depth, everything that you can change. But there's also profiles up here. For example, if you turn it to, you know, low, it's going to give you a lower resolution, but increase your performance in game. And you'll kind of be able to see how much it changes this here. Boom, quite a bit of a difference there, but still looks pretty good, honestly. But nevertheless, that is how you can install complimentary shaders as well as change shaders options in game. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if we did help you get the complimentary shaders pack installed, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.